Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Ordinary, and welcome to Student Union. Student Union is a dark romance visual novel. Uh, it's still on demo right now, and the devs, Visual Novel Village, ask me if I can give the demo a try. And I'll be like, why not? I mean, uh, I love me some anime stuff, and I also love the, uh, the dark and mystery type of story. So this is like my cup of tea. <laughs> is that the expression? I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, if you would like to try the demo by yourself, I'll put the link in the description. Go check them out and try it by yours, uh, and try it, I guess. <laughs> uh, also, if you love this, the visual novel, uh, you can support the devs in Kickstarter. I'll also put the link in the description. Go check them out. And by the way, this is not sponsored. I, I just think uh, the the games look neat, so I, I will give uh, give me uh, give them some support. <laughs> I mean, look at the art. It's so. Uh, wait, excuse me. What? Cheeseburger? No, no, I didn't. What? It should be on the table. Really? Okay, go, go, go check that again. Alright? Okay, okay. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, it was Kochia. Uh, she's asking for her cheeseburger. Well, I wouldn't dare touch her cheeseburger, it's her favorite. Would you want me to make her mad? Anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's begin our journey then. Oh, by the way, th there was a disclaimer before the menu about some adult content in it. So, if I see something uh, adult, I guess I'll gonna uh, censor some. Don't want to make uh, to make Susan angry. Or am I not? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's uh, let's begin. Blood, dirt, and sweat. Caught my arms to the elbows, and I can no longer tell where any of it came from. Oh, spooky hallway. If I keep going with this, I'll eventually get caught. Spooky. What the hell am I going to do? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that, that actually started me. I'm sorry. Uh, I gonna be honest with you. I actually bet with horror games, so I probably I actually get started, especially with quick jump scare or, or just like flickering. <laughs> okay. Turner. A teacher rush in the office. Ooh, the eyes moving. It's. She also looks cute. <laughs> okay, uh, so the, a teacher rushed into the office, pushing the door with more force than necessary. I flinch in my seat and sit upright. Triple dot. After taking a step in, she stops. She finds me in a chair across from the empty desk. Oh, hey, you're in my class this year, aren't you? Oh, it's supposed to be me. <laughs> well, I look handsome. <laughs> hey, Miss Webb. Yeah, this year is the first. Whoa, <laughs> she's getting closer, hopping like a bunny. <laughs> she eyes me with suspic uh, suspicion. What I, are you doing in here? I was called in the intercom earlier, so I'm not sure yet. Okay, please keep waiting. Cute expression. She hold back annoyance, though not very well. As she exists, sorry, I, I cannot read. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> As she exits, she closes the door more softly than she opened it. I look at the space around me. This is the first time I've been here. The administration office are a section off from the classrooms, and this one dwarfs the others. Unattended coffee, or maybe it's tea, sits on the desk. Steam coming from the cup, waff, waff, how do you say it, I'm sorry, <laughs> in the sunlight entering from the window. So the drink is new, still fresh. I take a break, I I'm so sorry, I cannot read. <laughs> I take a breath while combing the office with my eyes. Actually, by the smell, it's definitely coffee. On the wall, there is frame certificate titled Master of Business Administration. It was issued from a... I cannot read that. Prestigious university about six years ago. Near the degree are sets, uh, sets of frames right with pin butterflies. A wireframe model of... Okay, I cannot read that. I'm sorry. Rest on the desk. <laughs> oh. Who are you? Interrupting my fidgeting and this time with a knock. A well-dressed man enters and greets me with a smile. Hi there, Lynn. Thanks for be being patient. I'm the assistant principal, Mr. Underwood. Nice to meet you. I must not be in trouble, so I stand and extend my hand. His mouth curves stronger at the gate gesture, and he shakes my hand firmly. His grip is stronger than mine. He closes the door behind him walks to his desk, and sits himself. Go ahead, sit. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking like some uh, runescape <laughs> insults. Sit, you know. <laughs> I heard that you were asking around about odd jobs you could do for the school. I returned to the same chair across from his desk that I've been warming and lean forward. Yes, I was wondering if I could make extra money during the school year. I was thinking of saving up for college. Ooh. Admirable. You are in your senior year, right? Why not get a summer job? I work at the library downtown over the break. I was trying to figure out out something more local. The bus schedule makes it tricky. The Kafka Library? Yes, a bit of commute. Nearly an hour each way. He drinks his... Uh, sorry? He drinks from his coffee and look past me for a moment. Well, I do have something. I have been introducing the idea to a few of the other seniors. What is your background? I straightened up my seat a bit. I've had this interview like exchange a few times. I'm from here, so I grew up with a lot of the students. Not that I know them all well, but I'm not shy. Unlike me. <laughs> My grades are important than me. I'm a hard worker, and I've had lots of jobs, probably more than other students. If you try virtual YouTube, <laughs> it's it's actually uh, kind of difficult. Mr. Underwood seems receptive and maintains eye contact with me. I notice he is thumbing the side of his cup. His fingernails color white from the pressure. What else? I work at the passing gas, the gas station. Yeah, I work after the shift on weekend for a while. I stock self at the grocery too. 
Also, they sometimes need help at the water treatment plant and hire interns. So, I've done work there on and off. You stay busy. All your work will pay off and you should feel proud. And the money, <laughs> especially. I grit my teeth and hold back any response. After a couple of seconds pass, I nod slightly. Not not. Mr. Underwood pats a small stack of paper on his desk. You have excellent grades too. You are a strong candidate. For what? For the job I see. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> However, something I cannot glean from the, your file is whether or whether or not you are able to work with little instruction. Why need is a student to take the project and run with it, reporting in weekly. He paused, waiting for a response. I'm nervous, not from the content of the conversation, from something else. My face may betray me, but I attempt a confident nod. Not. He smiles wildly. I'd be happy to try. What do you need? I need someone with the interpret. I'm so sorry. I can't. <laughs> My English is not that perfect. With an entrepreneurial spirit to take the lead on forming a student union. It is in the experimental phase and I'm trying to convince the board it is valuable to both the student involved and the administration despite an upfront cost. As the president, you would put in a minimum amount of 10 hours in a week, report to me directly, and you would have a small budget. A club. See. <laughs> That house will be not a problem. Do you mean a group to represent all the students? As you might know, our students receive federal funding. Sounds good. Our facility is part of the public education system. So our local government is mandated to allocate money to us to help us maintain resources for our students. The money we receive may to it when official change office policies legislation and the state takes more or less than anticipated our school system tends to be placed below other priorities what sort of initiative I guess more important than this than school it depends on whom you ask Insurance programs, infrastructure, subs subsidizing, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> local businesses, law enforcement, and assistance to struggling families. At mention of his last example, I'm sorry, I catch myself looking at the warm tip of my sneakers and redirect my guess to Mr. Underwood. Mr. Underwood smiles. You're not going to find many... I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, you're not going to find many here who disagree that education is important. Many moving pieces play a role in the decision making. But I did not call you in here to talk about that. Our administration receive a cut of the budget, and we then craft our school budget from it. Year over year, the student population has been increasingly well. Our funding has been decreasing. That's not good. That's bad. That's not good. <laughs> is that why there is no sign up for track this year? That came up more 
a good story than I intended. We're taking a hard look at our extracurricular programs. Student representation is not the goal. Service to the school is. We need additional manpower and this is a relatively cheap method. And it, it presents you with a, an opportunity to help the school. If you do well and recruit some of your handworking friends, you will make a positive impact. I cannot make promises beyond guaranteeing you your paycheck. I take a deep breath, collecting confidence to put for my most important question. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> How much will I be paid? Question mark. Minimum wage, the same amount you receive from the library. That sounds good for a student. I guess for the uh, 10 hour job a week, not like the uh, full safe 40 hours a week. He responded with, without hesitation. He was prepared. It's disappointing, but not more than I can realis realistically expect. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't suddenly move like that. You scared me. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I'm bad with horror games actually. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Underwood da downs the rest of his drink and glances at the clock on the wall. Are you interested? Actually, I do, but. I don't even know what the club is, the student union. Well, he probably explain me if I just read it. <laughs> I hesitated, but only for a moment. I need this. I'm out of the other option. Maybe I can reconnect with some old friends. I could confidence and address Mr. Underwood. Definitely. It seems complicated. But I can help with whatever you need. Are you sure? This is not a small project for me either. He glanced at the wall behind me again. What did, what did you see? Yes, sir. What sort of work will I be doing? Underwood smiles. Tee hee. <laughs> there you go. First, I believe you can support some of, of our administrative functions. We need someone to man the library here. Two, for example. We may also utilize your team for even planning services. We have access faculty rooms and spacious conference areas. I want to rent those for external event to earn revenue. Oh, like host hosting workshops or conference? I help the library with scheduling seminars. Yes, I need to develop a formal list of your responsibilities and the responsibilities of the union as a whole, achieve board approval, and get some paperwork to you. What you need to do is, in the meantime, is vital. Please recruit at least at least for other students by the end of this week. And the week, I'm sorry. <laughs> that will demonstrate to the board that we will we actually have interest and ambitious student to fuel the frog program. It will not work if you are the only participant. Obviously. <laughs> well, I mean to do that by yourself is it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, like a bucket of water thrown on freshly lit match. Underwood sends my mood swing. You can ask some of your... He seems to catch himself and continues after an awkward lapse. Your classmates for help. 
it will actually be a great exercise for you in prepare, preparing for your role as the legator. We have intelligent and creative students here, and I'm sure you will find a handful willing to support their school. Yeah, I can do that. By Friday then. Yes, all of you meet me here, and I'll give everyone an update and initial push. Do you... The bell rings, Mr. Underwood gestured to the door. You better head to the next period. I will have to consume more of your time than I should. If you have questions, feel, f feel free to reach out by phone or email. Slowly, Mr. Underwood placed his business card in my hand as I stand. It's a neat design. The card lists his office phone number, cell phone number, and email address. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> I just remember something funny. Uh, I don't want to tell you about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is strange to give your cell phone number to a student. He, seem he seems devoted. It shows how serious he is. Well, this is a business. I'll get some money <laughs> with this job. Of course, he'll be serious. I nod and reluctantly smile. Thanks a lot, Mr. Underwood. Thank you. Don't forget to hit like. <laughs> I'm sorry. He waves as I open the door and move back into the hall. Goodbye, Mr. Underwood. Matasta. <laughs> Collecting my belongings from the last period was easy, since I hadn't broke any. Some students' books are still on order and haven't arrived. Most inherit old books. I linger at my open locker in the hallway. Mr. Underwood's cards in one hand and my phone in the other. Turner Underwood, assistant principal. Oh, so it's uh, his full name. So the teacher uh, mentioning... Mr. Underwood instead of me. <laughs> That's why she's surprised. I see. I add him to my contacts. What 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 was I about to ask him? The the back, the uh, background is uncomfortably quiet. I'm afraid if I uh, if I get startled by some loud noises. Oh, of our first choice. Well, you know, I, I'm I'm not biased, so first role for the uh, for playing visual novel, always safe in every option. So, BRB guys. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So there is a uh, three options that I can choose. So this is the option that. Uh, I, what I want to ask to Mr. Underwood. Can I get paid this week? Nah, th that, that sounds cheap. <laughs> Should I record my time work a specific way? And can I do anything to help get the project approved? Hmm. I think the I'm gonna pick the second one. Should I record my time work a specific way? Because uh, the third one is fine, but uh, it sounds like uh, you're clueless and you just want to help. It's it's still good you want to help, but well, I, I think it's the it's the question. I don't even know if the choice affects the story for now. This is the first option. <laughs> well, maybe because uh, what I read in. Uh, in the description, my choice matters. So I'll pick the second. Oh, it's like the phone thing. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Underwood. It's Lynn. So I use the uh, robot thing. 
Do you think I should record my time work a certain way? Good question. I will leave timekeeping to you. Keep a central written or electronic record for everyone. Thank you, Mr. Underwood. I slip Mr. Underwood's business card in my worn wallet. Worn wallet, interesting. It's interesting details. Maybe it has something to do with his face or something, or it's just his personality. I don't know. <laughs> do I look to... Uh... I love reading small details in novel. With a metal clank, I close my empty locker. The sound echoes. The students who are shuffling around, around me have already entered their next classes. I haven't memorized my schedule yet, so I use my crumpled note from my pocket. Crumpled. After a confirming glance, I crinkle it back in place and walk. Well, I starting to get understand uh, Len's personality. At least I know a couple people I can ask for Mr. Underwood's project. What oh, nice music! <laughs> I gotta be honest. During lunch or this afternoon may be good time to ask around. In the meantime, I'll plan, since we don't have many details work out. Otherwise, I don't will persuade anyone. I'll persuade, I'm sorry. <laughs> Two students, my, myself included, would be guaranteed at least. I'll need three more. Who's the second one? Students are standing in regular circles outside my destination. Groups migrate past me while I approach two students in conversation. Oh, why not? He is strict, and he lives right next to me. It doesn't matter how hard as he is, or where he and off, geez. Just help me out like before. I don't know. Hey! Even spot me and with side lodging. Sorry, side long step widens the circle of two. Why's everyone out here? Forget, forget it, man. Either ignoring or reacting to my interruption, she moves against the flow and other students. I noticed the classroom they have been negotiating near it's empty. I think art's cancelled today. So she's a, an art girl, huh? Toste! <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? I begin moving with the flow of the crowded and events follow besides me. It's. I don't know. She doesn't come in. The coach Jin just told us the, to the head to the gym. Even Miss Webb? Yeah, she. Ross said she was really upset this morning. His eyes look past me and catch on passing classroom draw, door. Instinct. I'm sorry, I cannot read that. <laughs> I follow his darting glance and see nothing but a closed door. He continues doing this with each room we pass, so I decide to ignore it. She looked it. She was trying to find new assistant principal, but I don't know why. It's weird. What is... I don't know. It's so different this year. Oh, did you? Oh, what's that? <laughs> I stumble hard and grip the handrail, but the loose railing profits provides no support. Oh, ouch! <laughs> I release it with a jerk and catch myself on the wall instead. Palms open. Beyond the inner railing. A narrow gap separates the flags. 
the high from the second floor creates a more potent wake up call than the smell the smell of Mr. Underwood's coffee. Crap! That really hurt some before it fixed. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I cannot read that. Uh, I I cannot read properly. That really hurt someone before it fixed. Huh. I wreck myself and we continue downstairs. Did you ask about work study position? Mr. Underwood said he'll uh, like me to start a group, like a paid club that that helps the school. See, that's weird too. You know about the lay layoffs, right? Uh, with way less elective classes. Principal Decker must be desperate. That's all. Mr. Underwood mentioned the school's budget was cut. That's more weird, not less. How can they pay, pay you? Not less stuff, but not less work. They have to pay someone to do it, and we're cheap. Well, let us a point. <laughs> we. Yep. I fast advance outside the gym entrance with pep in my step. The burst of energy exhausts him. It's minimum wage. You'll need to put it around 5 hours a week. I got a lower limit of 10 since I'm organizing it. I mean, 5 hours a, a week for a minimum wage is really... It's a steal, man. It's probably like just two and a half hour for two days around weekend or something, or an hour every weekdays. That's a freaking steal. I want that job. Even skulls at the floor, as I expected. I'm smiling. I don't know. I have a lot of questions. And you can't. We lock eyes. Oh, <laughs> shy boy. I don't know. He's kind of cute. Can I at least think about it? I wanted to do drama club this year. Drama club. To become a VTuber. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Of course. Take your time, and I'll text you the details tonight. Conveniently, after I figure them out. Besides, there might not be a drama club unless someone helps out around here. Ooh, persuasion check, roll 1d20. You set a group. How many people? Three more to get us going. Want me to ask Holly? Oh. It's his type, his cross something. <laughs> it's probably not her thing. Oh, winking, Lynn. He knows. It doesn't hurt to ask. Let's go in now. I think we're late. <laughs> or what? Everyone's either sitting around or playing ball. Our art class has been around 20 members, and there must be well for over 4 classes in the year. They may as well have cancelled school today. School close. <laughs> I almost don't even hear even over the chatter. Ross might have had the right idea this time. I borrow an abandoned basketball and join the idol shooting on the corner of the court. Even follows along the sideline. Oh, I guess Evan's not the sport guy. So what were you two talking about? Nothing really. I mentioned Mr. Underwood moved into our apartment building. Really? My shot bounced off another student just above the rim, 
so I leave another ball rolling near. How did you find out? He asked me to move a couple boxes. He lives alone, I think. But he seems nice. Yeah, seems nice. Maybe with some twists. I don't know. <laughs> I just haven't looked at the story. I want to... Uh, I don't really like look at the trailer or the teaser. I want to feel the full experience of the story I read. Or I watch, I guess. This is my thing. The, don't copy, uh, don't follow my way. <laughs> what am I saying? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't text you back. On my next throw, the ball moves through the net with a swish. Nice shot, man. That's... it's fine. Got some good sunset shot out there. Did you talk to the librarian? She said they found someone. And the gas station? Nothing there or the grocery. The time is off. They even they have enough hands. That sucks. You know, I can do your homework sometimes. Or cover for you. My next throw misses the thought from the backboard. It's fine. I'm going to have this student group. If I do well, it's sure to be steady. Right. So what will you do? Make Mr. Underwood's coffee. I mean, I make a mean mocha. <laughs> I'm serious. Majide. <laughs> so am I. Wingly. My shot once again intercept another student just above the rim. A tall girl approaches us with a relaxed greetings. Oh, look at those abs, man! Oh, <laughs> damn. She's ripped. Hi, Domo. <laughs> She address if even, but I respond anyway. He walks backwards slowly. What's up? It's better to take turns. I'm briefly confused at glance and glance at events. Her message message clicks after he nods to the basketball goal. Oh, sorry. Sina slowly and turns. Even stops her by speaking up, which cuts her more off guard than her. Ned, wait! This is Lane. He's near to and uh... At this point, I suspect a pattern. Did he become popular with girls? Oh, he's blushing! <laughs> Shy. Ned is listening patiently as he even trials off. The answer is no. Better help him. We are offering a few students a paid position at the school. I just started this group to help the school administration since they are sh short staff. And about 5 hours a week or so is a club that looks very good on your resume when you gradu graduate. As I say smugly. <laughs> You'll be um, organizing events and managing the library or the computer lab. I have no interest. Well, for the try, as she walks away, she catches this astray basketball. She's attractive. Yeah, she is. <laughs> With those abs. <laughs> I send a smile to Ivan. Your pitch need, needs works. Shut up! Work on you, didn't it? Aren't you worried? I'll manage. We got until Friday to get more members. Thanks for the wingman though. You got it. 
How do you know her anyway? Through Holly. She knows everyone. Pulling her in basically means we're set. Excuse me? Well, like I said, let's say you're right. Who else? Since I no longer feel confident enough in my multitasking to avoid disturbing Ned, I lead us to the bleaches. What you said earlier. They need people to manage the library. Oh, it picks even interest. I sit with my back to the wall. Why can't you just do that? Yuff. Yeah, it makes sense. Mr. Underwood didn't make it sounds like a soul student was an option though. It's that they don't want to go through the setup for a single person. Makes sense. How much could it even be? You know that it's not worth it without a substantial program. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I need to work on my English. I don't like it, but you should ask, ask Alice for help. Alice. I smell and take senses of the students here. You're full of solution today. Today, huh? <laughs> oh, he's shy. I approach a brooding guy and interrupt his recline position. Hey Ken! No wait, don't! <laughs> Even flinch and reach out. Oh, manly guy. Ken sit up and approach and greets me with a look of recognition. Sup? What's going on with Alice? What? A sudden glare? Not the response I anticipated. Your girlfriend? Why isn't she with you? Oh. What? What happened? He steps off with me, then glances at Co Coach Jin. The coach is playing on his phone on the court bench. Oh, the suspense. Ken's stands taller and is much more physical imposing compared to the other students and to me can i say that uh susan okay i'll just say that i'm sorry what the fuck are you trying to say you shit what nothing i just you just what wanna be funny get rise out of me <laughs> My color ti ti titans? <coughs> Excuse me? My color titans as he grips the chest of my shirt so forcefully. I wonder if he will be here. N no! What do you? Proxies from white flags, my hands rise defensively. He shoved me on the stairs, the, cor the corner digging into my spine. Sharp pain. I win and write. Play stupid fucking games, win stupid fucking prize. I'm sorry, Susan, it's not me. It's the uh, the text. I need to read it. <laughs> he storms from this stance and into the halls. Even helps me upright. You okay? Oh. It's cute, Sprite. Not just the female, the, the male is also look cute. No homo though. <laughs> Probably. They broke up over a break. It's... It was really public. Machite. <laughs> I mean... Even I knew. Um, why wouldn't Lin? Why wouldn't you Lin? Huh? I noticed Ned looking at me from the court. She resumes playing. 
well, I said that hurt my pride more if I, if my back didn't hurt so much. Jeez. Mo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stopped using Japanese voices. Anime voice. <laughs> she dumped him, apparently, and told everyone he was a womanizing pig, a failure, a poisonous fool. Damn, he's such a mini. Specific. She posted it online. On Twitter, I, I assume. <laughs> I've been too busy working to be plugged in. I know. It only seems to hurt worse when I message the area, so I stop attempting. I'll catch Alice over lunch. I think it'll still join. I don't know. Probably. Crazy asshole. <laughs> I spend time recovering in advance company until our next e class. As my sounding board, Ivan helps think out more the group's job. Ivan at least become more familiar with the idea. The dean of the cafeteria decomforts, decomforts me. Energetic freshman, socialist, with a few outgoing upperclassmen. I don't see even but scan carefully for my target. Despite the noise, there are few students than last year's usual. Really? For this big good looking school, huh? I may be wrong about that since Mr. Underwood said there were more students overall. Really? Interesting. The room this person. This person. Yeah, this person. I'm sorry. <laughs> the aroma of the kitchen. Chicken strip day. Reliable as ever. I don't find who I'm looking for. But I spot a familiar face. Short girl sits alone at the end of the table. Wait, is that real ear? I think it's not this fake. Isn't it? She's cute though, blonde girl. She's staring at her foot, expressionless, as if separate by mouths. I decide I'll put an end of the that and sit across from her. It's funny to see so many empty seats around you. <laughs> Oh my god, I also flinch. <laughs> she flinches, dropping her plastic fork. Shiny. Oh, hey there. Holly is radiant, beaming at me. Meow. Meow meow. <laughs> You're right. Where is everyone? She steals my fork. I was gonna ask you that, honestly. Well, this presents an opportunity for catching up. I haven't seen you in, for in forever, since forever. You got huge. <laughs> you just shrank. Oh, she's cute. Energetic one. With a grin, I began enjoying my finger food. My first kiss not cute. Cuteness has simply reached maximum density. You're dense, huh? <laughs> With a frog flourish that's a little too close to my face, she retorts without hesitation. You may not like it, but this is what big, perf big performance looks like. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like it. She giggles and clears her th throat. Good. Now then, my dear wanderer, why has to approach my so my spring <laughs> after so many years? Weeks, you mean? The break isn't that long. 
Every day without sufficient worship is another scar upon my soul, an affront to my divinity. Divinity, I'm mean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Awfully needy for a goddess. Aqua sama. <laughs> I'm sorry. The library keep me occupied. Working, of course. Boring as usual. Responsible has better ring to it. What were you doing, O oh, Great One? She hesitates. Meow. She just prepare, uh, just preparing for the harvest. What that supposed to be? <laughs> I think she changed her number over the break. I can read the mood, so I don't try further. Well, I hope my current tribute will make up for my heresy. <laughs> it's a start. Wing. Why oh, she so cute? I actually like this type of girl, energetic and chuny, I guess. <laughs> her little finger traces the edge of her tray. Her untouched foot must be cold by now. Things will pick up next week. Speaking of work, though. Oh, her positive expression dissipates. I'm starting a student union, and we could use a mascot. Interested? Oh, just like Kochia. Just like when I use Kochia as my mascot. <laughs> and her body. Not in that way, I'm so sorry. She scoffs with a regained smile. That's new one. Granddaddy didn't mention it. So it must be a brand new scheme. <laughs> Mr. Underwood's brainchild, cheap labor, patient building. Through valiant effort, I avoid talking with my mouth full. Figures, Granddaddy said Principal Decker has desperate for new idea. Are you in? You can just sign up on paper, contribute or hang out as you feel like. I'm not sure about the level of commitment expected, but I don't correct myself. She paused for a few seconds before shaking her head. Really? Nah. It will be probably be stressful. Come on, I'll pick you as I'll pick up your slack. Meow. You won't have to if I'm not joining. Is it cat or fox? I'm sorry if she, uh, if she is a fox, I'll just gonna keep meowing. <laughs> because I don't know what fox says. She's gripping her tray. The tendons in her hand visible. Okay, okay. I'll just let you know how it goes. Are you gonna eat all that? Oh, no. Go ahead and text me. <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> Thanks, I've been. Oh. She grips her wrist as I reach her foot. For her foot. But now this. The blood debt will be paid. Is that supposed to be it? <laughs> Allow you one, okay? Okay. I shall hold my you intimately to the that promise, Wanderer. You miss a talk. Even gonna get tired of being so silly. Oh, cute, blushing, and pouting. Double combo. <laughs> it's not silly. It's fun. Role playing. Don't people make fun of you? At this age, I almost at. My supreme adorability grand safe passage. I can make fun of you if you you're feeling left out. Her expressions become difficult to read but only for a moment. 
I'm not. Hey, mind if I sit with you? Even stand beside the table, waiting permission to intrude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just I, as I'm about to tell him it's fine, Holly beats me to it. Another, another one joins the flock. Please kneel, traveler. <laughs> I'll just sit. Oh, even likes Holly. <laughs> the shy boy. I can I can sort of relate of even because I'm kind of shy in real life. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> what took you? Calculus is no job this year. His expression expiration is palpable. With a few extra newtons, he plops down. Really? Did you find your limit? Oh, who is she? Even rolls his eyes as a thin girl slides in into besides. I'm sorry, I cannot read. <laughs> slides into place besides Holly. Her hairstyle changed over the brick, so it seems takes me a second to recognize her. She looks at her with a grin, which helps jog to my memory pretty quick. Welcome to the fall face! <laughs> oh, I would like to play the ending with Holly. It's it will fun. It will be fun. Holly bonds with enthusiasm. And bumps shoulder with Alice. Oh, so she's Alice. New hairstyle after breakup, huh? I see. <laughs> Thank you. You're like Mr. Underwood's class. I respect the man. He's a good instructor. Speaking of, I like to talk to you. With a smirk. Oh. I gonna say uh, this one. The art style is really nice. I really like the art style and the expression. Like all of them are cute, including the boys. <laughs> no homo, obviously. But I think the art style it's really good. Can't wait for the dark part comes in. <laughs> oh, I glance at Ivan. Whose expression tells me the plans of Mr. Underwood told me about the student union. I'll be joining, of course. Without the invitation, huh? Subarasi! <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. Great! As the president, naturally. No, that's my job. I need my money. My smell fades. I've been wanting an opportunity like this for a while to really start making calm change around here. Oh, she's also cute. It took some new, uh, it took someone new in the administration to inside the shakeup, but I suppose that's how it goes. I'm glad you are into it, but Mr. Andrew already agreed. The well, I cannot read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Leading the chains makes me for a compelling cell to the school board. Sensing conflict, holy strings. Even it's his meal. I'm the best suit for this. Uh, for seeing this truth. I lean forward on my empty tray. Did you mention how many hours I get? He said I need to give at least 10 hours weekly to manage the group, but we're not sure how utilized member will be. You can say work less. I'll make sure to have someone cover for you. I stand up for the table, try in one hand, my other shoving into my pocket. Oh, excuse me. 
moving away promptly, I slap the food tray onto the recycled stack and step into the hole. Oh. I yank my phone to my ear and listen to the dial out noise. And eventually, Mr. Underwood's voicemail message. My phone's vibrate. Vibrates. Can't talk now? What do you need? Alice, Alice wants to be the president. President? Where does that leave me? If Alice would like to try for the spot, the fair approach will be democratic. The founding members will vote for the president Friday. Fair enough. If... Triple dot. I took my phone away and returned to the cafeteria. Holly excused herself from our table. I wonder if it's because she was done. Well, I think so. I know so. With that, I can pull a group together in no time. Alice, did you even talk to Mr. Underwood? My confrontation is met with a smirk. Oh, smirk girl. Oh, cute. What did he say? The president's position will be put to vote on Friday. That's quite fair. I can't argue with that, I suppose. Frustrated, I sit. It is... And you, you're outnumbered. It won't do for you to intimidate others. We both look at Ivan, who won't look either of us strike out. I'm with Lance, sorry. Of course, he is consistent. Fine. I'll soon have followers on my of my own. With an and to step on the table, she stands. Well then, gentlemen, I do look forward to establishing by partisan solution after my swearing in ceremony. Even Anna, I look at each other in silence. At least I uncharacteristically. I'm so sorry, that's a long word to say in one breath, <laughs> uncharacteristically. Close enough, shy about us judging her. Oh, she's pouting. For now, I hope to take a spirited competition. I'll beat you, but I do. Adios. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> After she leaves, I turn to Ivan. What are you talking about while I was gone? She was brainstorming ways to recruit people quickly. And? The short version is to make false promises. Gets lots of students to join on that basis. Have to group establish and let things settle however they settle. That's cheating. I don't like that way of thinking because uh, actually I did manage a club before. That's not how you re uh, recruit a member, a loyal member, I suppose. Especially with money uh, and high hopes by Mr. Underwood. Magikayo. <laughs> that sounds like a receipt of disaster. Mr. Underwood will lose respect for me if he found out. He might even fire me. Think about it. Has he even give, given any specific instructions? A few. So it's reasonable, expected, even. That student acting on his own wouldn't get all the details straight. You see? I'm not a competent. Doesn't matter. Taking a risk by letting you figure figure things out alone, he wouldn't be able to justify firing you. After it's already set up anyway, 
and stop. I'm not doing that. Man of commitment, I like that. But you need the money. If Alice does it, then I might get less work from the school. Big fucking deal. As my snap, he flings and looks at the remainder of his lunch. Okay. Triple done. Are you gonna finish? You can have the rest. Ooh. Indirect kiss. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Thanks. I guess it's normal for them. I guess they're really a best friend. Even sharing food. In a... I cannot read that. I pocket his last morsel. And not long after we move on to finish out the day's classes. Oh, I, I actually dig this. Yeah, honestly, uh, so far I I dig this story. It's it's kind of. It's kind of slow to be honest, but I guess uh, the, they want to build the uh, the character first. I love how they uh, show the personality of the character, not just blunt, bluntly, but just small details that you can pick on when, when you're reading it. And it's fun. I love the character and the style and the music as well. I can't wait for the dark part to uh, to come. Uh, to see some spooky stuff because I'm really bad at spooky stuff actually but I guess that's it for today I, I've i been recording for a while so I'm stopped I also kinda uh, exhausted reading the uh, narrated it you probably aware, uh, picked that up <laughs> I don't know so yeah uh, I guess that's it for today thank you very much for watching this video I really enjoyed this game, honestly. Not if not even joking. Like, I can't wait for the dark part to to come. It's uh, it build up. I don't even know what will will be go wrong with this story. It's just normal high school story so far. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and. Support this channel. Also, uh, once again, I'll link the demo in the description. You can try trade by yourself. And also, uh, the Kickstarter link if you want to support the devs. Well, uh, I guess that's it. I see you guys later, and have a lucky day.